Hey what's up guys welcome to the 36th selenium web driver tutorial again my name is Abhilash and in this tutorial we will be looking into an alternative method of uh, clicking on a web page element so basically what we are going to do in this tutorial is uh, we'll navigate to our home page and click on this uh, first link that is login using uh, our alternate method so instead of uh, using our uh, common method that uh, we have been using till now that is driver dot find element by id and then uh, clicking on that particular element we are going to make use of uh, javascript executor interface so let's get started with uh, today's tutorial so basically uh, let's quickly create a class inside our package and name it as uh, javascript executor test so let's quickly uh, paste the required initialization uh, statements that is these four statements which will open the required uh, home page for you in the Firefox browser so uh, what we are supposed to do is uh, okay let's uh, quickly execute this in order to check the status of uh, the selenium web driver and our uh, firefox browser instance so basically it will open the web page for you guys and let's uh, quickly locate the element that is the login link in this case which we are going to work with so the id is login so uh, as uh, explained in the previous tutorial let's uh, store this particular web page element in uh, a web element object so let's uh, name it as login and in order to store it we just need to find it and store it in the object of uh, type web element which we have already declared over here as you can see so find element by dot id and pass the required id so basically the statement is uh, going to find the required element on the web page and the element will be stored in the login object that is uh, the object of web element type now we can use this uh, login object in order to carry out different uh, functionalities or uh, use the required methods that are provided by the web element uh, interface so what we are going to do now is uh, we are going to make use of uh, javascript executor so pay attention to this guys as uh, we will be using the combination of uh, driver so basically how you are going to implement this is uh, inside uh, the open and close parenthesis you have to specify driver and before driver you open and close the parenthesis and provide uh, javascript executor so if you press the combination of control and space keys on your keyboard you will get the list of uh, classes and interfaces that you can use so the one the interface that I am talking about is uh, this one that is JavaScript executor which is from the open QA dot selenium so basically we are going to make use of uh, this JavaScript executor which is inside the open parenthesis and then after that we have uh, driver okay which is again the entire statement is uh, within the open and close parenthesis so that uh, we can make use of uh, the required methods so basically if you uh, press dot we have uh, something called as execute script so we are going to make use of this method in order to click that uh, particular web page element that we have stored in this particular object so if you click on this execute script it takes uh, two parameters so the very first parameter that it is going to take is uh, a command which uh, is in javascript so basically uh, in javascript we have something called as uh, arguments zero dot uh, click so basically this uh, click method is used in order to click the web page element in the javascript so basically what we are going to do is uh, whatever arguments 
that we pass in the second argument of this execute script that is whichever web element that we pass the same web page element will be taken by the first parameter that is arguments 0 dot click so uh, whichever element that we pass as the second parameter in execute script the same uh, web element on the web page will be clicked with the help of uh, this particular statement so if you uh, provide this uh, login object which is again a web page element so what exactly will happen is uh, this click operation will be carried out on this particular web page element so that's the way we can uh, click on a web page element using the javascript executor and in uh, any case or uh, due to some reasons if uh, you are not able to click on a particular web page element using uh, this method that is after finding it using one of the locating methods and uh, using the click method we can uh, make use of this uh, javascript executor and the execute script method in order to click that uh, web page element so let's quickly save it and execute it so this will uh, just navigate to that login page in this case so as you can see it has uh, opened our uh, main home page and clicked on the login link and uh, it has successfully navigated to that particular page that is the login page so that's a way we can uh, make use of uh, javascript uh, interface along with its uh, method that is provided that is execute script and it takes two parameters that is uh, the first parameter is uh, the click operation that is uh, the statement in javascript which uh, allows us to click on the web page element on the web page and the second argument is uh, the web page element itself so basically uh, whichever element uh, we are supposed to pass is uh, will go in the second uh, parameter and not only click but uh, any other method which uh, is allowed by javascript can be passed on uh, as the uh, first parameter of this execute script so basically that's a way we can uh, make use of javascript in order to click on the web page element and that's it in this tutorial uh, catch you guys in the next tutorial have a nice one